Okay, so here's a teaser for you. Braised short ribs with a port wine demi-glaze, four cheese risotto. I know I'm making everyone hungry over at the phones over there. Uh, four cheese risotto. We've got a sautéed spinach lobster ravioli with a white wine rosa cream sauce. Do I have your attention yet? Well, John has my attention. John Calora, he's the owner and chef from Chibo e Vino. You certainly have mine. Actually, when I went into your restaurant a couple weeks ago, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not your typical Italian pizza joint. No, it's not. We um, we do a lot more than pizza, actually. Um, I have some recipes that I'm going to perform here today for you that my great great grandmother taught me. For starters, we're going to do some short ribs. Okay. We're, we got some port wine reducing here. We got some demi glaze here. We're going to do some garlic spinach and a four cheese risotto. Well, let's start with what chibo e vino means. Chibo e vino means food and wine in Italian. Okay. Quite simply. All right. And these are recipes that, that are from your from your from great, great grandma. grandmother. She came over to America in 1905 via Sicily on the boat through Ellis Island and she bought an encyclopedia of recipes awesome. with her. Awesome. That, that you are taking full advantage of. Yes, I have written them all down. Uh, she started me how to cook from when I was 10 years old. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah. And you're teaching so, your kids how to cook absolutely. too. Absolutely. My little girl's five years old. She's already making raviolis. There you go. And, and she's a little rock we'll star. Ha we'll have her in here sometime. Okay, so let's start right now and we're okay. going to start with the we're short ribs. We're going to start over here with okay. the short ribs. I have three short ribs here. We're going to season them lightly. We're going to dip them in flour. So you're seasoning them with salt, salt and pepper. pepper yep. Okay. We're going to roll them in a little bit of flour. And then we're going to put them in the oven and sear them for about 20 minutes. Okay, that's okay. it. That's how we start. While, while that happens, we'll come over here and we'll get the braise going. Okay. This dish takes six hours to make. Just six, six hours. hours? Yep. We're okay. going to put the short ribs in the oven. And if I was at the restaurant, I would blast them for one hour at 500 degrees. Okay. okay. Then after that, we would put them in the braise and then put them in an oven at 275 degrees. Yeah, you don't do anything simple. No. Like, I mean, this, this is like this, this is whole... a very complicated okay. dish. So we're going to come over here and we're going to start with a little bit of port wine. We're going to put a little bit of marinara in. Okay. And this is going to be the sauce that the short ribs. Sort this of this will be marinara? the braising liquid. Okay. Yes. We're going to put a little bit of garlic in. A couple of cloves, three cloves, okay. ten peppercorns, a okay. couple of bay leaves. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to grab our mirepoix. And basically what, what this is... What is a mirepoix? Mirepoix is basically carrots, celery, and onions. Okay. This is going to add some flavor and body to our... Or braise. So it's just for the for the flavoring. You could chop them up later, but yeah. you're not putting them in little bite-sized pieces. No. So we're gonna fill this pot up. Oh my gosh, that's, that's gonna smell so good this in the is, house. This is absolutely a fabulous dish. We're gonna add a little bit of water. Now, how long is this gonna? Is it simmer this, or boil or? This is uh, what we call low and slow. It'll okay. be in the oven at 275 for six hours. Oh. And when these things Great. come out, they are gonna be so tender, so soft. It's absolutely fantastic. Now we're going to add some beef broth, which I made earlier. Well, another great thing that I love about your restaurant, and I'm sure all of you guys out there that have a favorite restaurant that you go to, probably a, a big part of it is because the owner is there. Yes, I'm you, always there. You always. live there. You're there in the morning. You're there in the afternoon. And, and it's almost like a cheers where you come in and it's like, Andy. Well, we truly are a family restaurant. If I'm not there, my wife is there. Some days you can come in and my kids are running around. Uh, right, Sunday your daughter was making ravioli. Absolutely. <laughs> and she gets right in there. She sure does. All right, so basically we have our braise ready. We would cover it with plastic and then tin foil and put it in the oven for six hours. Okay. At 275. Stick okay? this whole thing in the oven. Absolutely. All right. All right, well, why?